In this video, we're going to take a look at the profile feature uh, that's located in Moodle. Um, there are some very useful things that uh, you can use to look up students' information, uh, for example, the work that they've completed, the resources they've accessed, um, and some other things that you can do with it as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Profile in your administration block. There. And in this case, I'm going to see my profile. So let's go ahead and go ahead and take a look through this first. Uh, it does look similar to a uh, student. Um, you're going to see some information here, your email address. Uh, for the most part, your student's email address are, are just dummy emails. They don't actually link to anything. Um, courses, any courses that you're in or your students are in, uh, currently enrolled, will be here as well. Last access and some other uh, information as well. You can also change your password right here, and your students can do that as well. Students can also unenroll uh, right here. Uh, they aren't going to use that uh, feature, though, at this time. You can edit your profile here. Just some basic information. You can choose to put a picture here as well, uh, as I've done uh, for your, your profile. Your students may do this as well. We won't go into the advanced options. Here you can search any forum posts that your students might have. In this case, I don't have any posts. Uh, if I did, they would be listed here in order from uh, oldest to newest. Uh, here I can look at uh, uh, any of my blog entries, or in your case, your students' blog entries. You can just create notes here. Um, this feature is not really used that often. If you find a use for it, that's great. Uh, this is where you would access it. Uh, this one's really nice, the activity reports. Um, I don't have any activity on mine, uh, but if I had, I'd have several topics here, first topic, second topic, so on and so forth. And in each of those, for each resource, it would say uh, the number of times students have accessed that resource and what they, uh, the last time that they've, they've accessed it as well. So a nice feature about that is if you have uh, given students instructions on a paper and they tell you that, um, that they don't understand it or they, they communicate that to their parents in some way, um, you can go back and check this and it'll show that you know maybe that student hasn't even checked it or something like that. Um, it's just a nice way to kind of track your, your student's activity uh, in the Moodle. There's some other features here as well in this activity report depending on um, what you've asked your students to do, you can look at their grade um, directly. Um, logs, you can look at statistics on, on what they're accessing and, and, and determine how useful a resource is, uh, what they've done today, and what they've done since they've been enrolled in Moodle. Uh, so activity reports are very helpful. Uh, also a nice way to, uh, to, a student might ask you if they've turned something in uh, from a while ago. Instead of going back and trying to find that resource, you can just click on activity reports, look at their com uh, complete report or their out um, outline report, and find that information for them. Uh, I don't think you have this tab on yours. I believe this is uh, one that, that I have. I'll go back to the main page here. And that is roll.